Why do you approach the Duchess of Dementia? Do you seek death? You're the one the Mad God sent, aren't you? Then you're safe for now. Speak to no one unless I instruct you to. None of them can be trusted. Do you hear me? None! Surrounded by traitors and spies, I am. Always, always. They watch and wait, eager to slip a knife into my spine when I'm not looking. Could be all of them. Every last one. None can be trusted. But they'll never take me down. Never! I'll see them all rotting in shallow graves before I let my guard down. You. You will help me. Yes, yes, you will be most useful. You're going to find out who knows. You're going to learn who keeps secrets, who conspires against me. You will be my grand inquisitor. Expose the conspirators and they will be punished, I assure you. Find out who keeps secrets and what they are. Speak with Herdier. He will help you. Do you understand what is required of you? If no one is found, you will be held responsible. What brings you to this delightful corner of the House of Dementia? How may I help you? That's rather forward of you, don't you think? We've only just met and already you're ordering me around. Well, I must say, I enjoy this take-charge attitude. I presume you are the Grand Inquisitor, then. Hmm. Lady Sill said she'd be appointing... someone. Shall we get to work? There's much to be done. So many people to visit. Ah, I do appreciate an assertive leader. I look forward to working with you on this assignment. Lead the way, Grand Inquisitor. I am Kiflin. No conspiracies here. Go pester someone else. Please, no! Ah. I swear I know nothing about a conspiracy! Please, no! All right, all right, please, just stop. I don't know anything specific, but Anya has been looking scared lately. More scared than usual. I think something's going on with her. Now, please, leave me alone! I've told you everything I know, I swear! Yes, Inquisitor. Well, of course, Inquisitor. I'm Anya Herrick. I serve Lady Syl, and she allows me to remain protected within the House of Dementia. I'm so grateful to her. Eril's Mysteries sells a number of unique spells. Doesn't sell any mysteries, though. What? No, no, no I, I, I don't know anything about anything. I, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Please, no! Please, 
I- I'm not involved. I didn't do anything. They wanted me to get them close to Sill, but I couldn't abide them. I... I don't know. Not for sure. Mazada came to me, said that Sill needed to be removed, and that I was supposed to help them, or else... I would be far too afraid to turn on Sill. But I couldn't turn them in, either, because they might come after me. Please, you must do something. I've told you all I know. It was Mazada. I don't know anything more, I swear it. See you later. Again. Have you seen any of Mazada's things? A shiny spoon? Or a broken bottle? I can't find them. Don't waste your wonderful poisons on skinned hounds. They seem to like them. I'm afraid I have no idea what you are talking about. You may continue to do your worst, Inquisitor, but unless you have some evidence of this preposterous conspiracy, you'll get nothing from me. Keep an eye out for my things, won't you? Hello? You're talking to me, and I don't... You got some skooma, eh? Right, buddy? Pal? To share? Come on! Pass the skooma already! Sickly Benitez isn't a bad place. Just make sure to wash your hands. Sweet, sweet skooma. Give it here. Give it here. Give it here. Give it here. Take this as payment. <coughs> nothing in it for me, so I've nothing to say to you. Please, no. I don't like you and don't want to talk to you. All right, all right. I've seen Mazada, yes. Talking to that seducer, Nelreen, all secretive-like, out in the street late at night. I don't know nothing else, honest. Hello? Looking, looking, always looking. Yes, Inquisitor. What may I do for you? Are you quite sure, Inquisitor? Very well. Please, don't have too much fun without me.
Have you made any progress? Will Anya assist us? No, that blasted Inquisitor got to her. We'll need to find someone else. See that you do so immediately. This is the one task which you were assigned. If you cannot complete it, you will be removed. Are we clear? I will, I will. I want to see Syl dead just as much as you do. She cannot be allowed to survive after what she has done. It's despicable. Good. I shall expect a progress report soon. And keep your head down. The Inquisitor must not become involved. Bless... Ah, you again. Have you seen any of Mazada's things? I've told you, I don't know anything. You can't prove a thing. What? I, I, it, it's for the good of Crucible. You must see that. Please, spare me. I'll do anything. I don't know, besides Nelrin. She is taking orders from someone, but won't tell me who. If I find out, uh, will you promise to spare me? Oh, thank you, thank you. You are too kind. I shall bring you names, I promise. Meet me in my house tomorrow at midnight. I'll have the information for you. I've agreed to help you already. Torturing me further will do you no good. Keep an eye out for my things. What do you want? I hope for your sake you are not accusing me of anything. Did you? And you have proof of this? No, you don't, do you? Well, then you'll get nothing out of me. Oh, thank you. Walk with our Lord. Yes, Inquisitor. What may I do for you? Of course, Inquisitor. I look forward to working with you. Some scum. Leave me be. I've told you what I know. Blessings, citizen. Mad God's blessings. Walk with our Lord.
What do you want? You have no proof. You cannot hold... No! Please, no! Yes, Inquisitor. Very well, Inquisitor. What would you like to know, Inquisitor? Now, Rain is clearly withholding information. Hmm, persuasion might be in order. <laughs> or perhaps Masada will have something that will help. Goodbye. Your efforts are futile. Walk with our Lord. Yes. Now Rain is lying to you, Inquisitor. She knows more than she tells. See you. Wah! Here we are, safe indoors. Nothing to harm us here, is there? Take. Do you have business in the House of Dementia? What do you want? Find those who plot against me. Bring them to me so I might make an example of them. I expect results, Inquisitor, and I expect them soon. How may I serve? What do you want? You have no proof. You cannot hold me accountable for anything. And with it, you'll do what? I'm not even the one you want. Murine is behind it. You'll need solid proof to pin it on her. You already know my part in this. There is nothing more to say. Walk with our Lord.
Greetings. Hello there. I just finished a lovely conversation with Uncle Leo. It seems he's not feeling well today. Lost an arm. Scalons carry diseases. Lots of them. I see you've done quite a bit of work to track me down. Yes, I orchestrated it. Syl deserves to die a painful death for turning on all of us and consorting with our enemies. Go ahead, do what you will. Nothing matters now. Haven't you got what you need? Shouldn't you be running off to tattle like a good little servant? Take care. The best armor in the city is a blessing for you. There's no... How may I serve? What news do you have to report, Inquisitor? Have you found who is responsible? Is that so? I shall have her brought to the torture chamber at once. Meet me there shortly. Hello. You've confessed to attempting to kill me, I understand. The penalty for this treachery is death and is to be carried out immediately. Ah! You see now what happens when those who oppose me fail, which they always do. I'm pleased with your work, Inquisitor. As a token of my appreciation, I shall spare your life and make you a courtier of dementia. In addition, accept this bow. May your enemies fear you and never know from where or with what enchantment you shall strike. Lord Sheagoroth would do well to stop bothering with the Resonator and just send everyone away. See you. Yes? See you later. Always a pleasure. Well, well, you've experienced both shades of madness. Wonderful! You seem fulfilled. Full of fill! Bursting at the seams. <gasps> Seamless. Now, to the meat of your endeavor. The crux of the situation. The reason for your being here. And the likely cause of your death. You'll be stopping the Grey March. Altering the course of events. Breaking the cycle! A fly in the ointment. A new cause for a different effect. We're going to change things. No! Things will be different this time around. You'll be my champion. You'll grow powerful. You'll grow to be... me. 
Prince of Madness, a new Shea Gorath. Or you'll die trying. I love that about you. A fair question. You won't really. At least I don't think so. But you'll have power. My power. Try not to lose it. It's a pain to replace. But for all intents and purposes, you'll be me. A me to fight the him. Since I won't be around. It's simple, really. If you don't think about it. Because you seem a nice enough sort. And you've made it this far. And if you don't, I'll swallow your soul and vomit it into the ever-filling chamber pot of the Ageless. Hm. But mostly because I asked nicely. Well, not here. Didn't I say that? I'm never here when Jigalag walks. It's one of the rules. I've told you too much for now. Listen to me, prattle on. I can see your mortal brain straining. We'll talk more later. Now, you've seen the great torch that burns brightly over New Sheath. No, because it doesn't. It should, but it doesn't. You'll fix that. You'll go to Silarn and bring back the flame of Agnon to relight the torch. Oh, and take care with my minions at Silarn. In their eternal quest to please me, they're constantly fighting over Silarn. It can be tiresome, but really, it's divine, divinely tiresome. Well, that's your problem now. Off with you. I don't want to see you again until the Great Torch is lit. I wouldn't want to have to hurt you much. Oh, don't forget to make use of dear Haskell. Between you and me, if he's not summoned three or four times a day, I don't think he feels appreciated. That's where you're going to get the Flame of Agnon. Do you listen to anything I say? Do your ears work? If not, I can find use for them. Go and fetch the flame. Bring it to the Sicellum. Light the great torch. How are you going to be me if you can't even do what me tells you? It's what's used. To light the great torch. Haven't we covered this? You'll find it in Silarn, guarded by my saints and seducers. The great torch shines brightly above New Sheath, a beacon of hope for all the citizens. Except it doesn't! It's gone out! Happens every time the Grey March begins, which it has. Makes all of my subjects uneasy, tense, homicidal, some of them at least. We need to get that torch relit before the place falls apart. Aren't you the curious one? You know what they say about curiosity, though, don't you? It killed the intrepid adventurer who really should just be doing exactly what I say at all times! You're going to stop the Grey March by becoming me. Or a version of me. You'll be powerful. Powerful enough to stop Jigalag. He's on his way. So I'm on my way out. It's terribly inconvenient, don't you think? You're going to stop him, though. And the first thing to do is to make my people feel safe. Otherwise, they tend to go work for him. It's annoying to tell the truth, a bit hurtful, but they do it every time. Join up with the enemy and become priests of order! They're getting more active every day. Not a good sign. You know what would be a good sign? Free sweet rolls! Ho ho ho! Who wouldn't like that? Shut them down where you can, and make sure to kill the priest you see around them. If you don't, they can reactivate the obelisk. 
They're the worst of all. My own subjects, working for the enemy. It's enough to make an old Daedric prince get all weepy. It doesn't help that they're the ones who make the obelisks work. A little chanting, a little ritual, and poof, knights of order. Bad news. Kill them when you see them. But don't touch the corpse until they're really dead. Which they aren't until you deactivate the obelisk. Ta! Come visit again! Or I'll pluck out your eyes! How may I serve?